Hi guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing the long-awaited Leotard Collection haul. Throughout the past few months, I've been just like buying so many leotards. I think I bought like 10. It's pretty bad. Also guys, if you haven't followed my Instagram, go do that. And if you guys want to check out my own dancewear, I have my own dancewear line. You guys should go check that too. It's noeldancewear.com. So, let's just get into it. I'm going to be doing, um, I'm doing it by color. Um, because that's how it is in my closet, so I'm just gonna make it easy on myself. So there are a lot of new leotards. I got rid of a lot of leotards too, so this collection will be different from the last time. Um, the last time I did it, I swear like I wasn't really into dancewear that much. Um, but I feel like now that I have my own dancewear, I'm just like, I want everybody else's dancewear. And I don't know why. Let's get started. So the first one that I have is a collections by claudia leotard um and she sent this one to me like last year i'm pretty sure this was in my last collection haul um so it's just i think it's like a shiny material that's what it looks like to me um but it's just this dark blue um with mesh at the top and the back is like a squared back it has mesh on the back and then again little logo it's fully lined um and yeah um i started not to buy high neck leotards anymore because i can't decide if i like them or if i hate them okay the next one i think this one's high neck too but this one is from classin i can't remember if this was in my last collection haul or not but i bought this one and i know this one i think i bought it in quarantine last year or something so it's really cute i love the prints it has white trim and the back is really really cute the only thing i hate about this leotard is the material it's so tight um to get on like it doesn't have a lot of stretch and actually when i put it on it i don't know if you can see but the lining just like there's so many runs in the lining from like when i first put it on so but um honestly i'm not that mad about it because their leotards are in like the 40s and 50s so makes sense because their material isn't like that good but it's fine okay so the next one is um a gainer minin leotard this one is navy blue i forget what style this is called um but this is my favorite leotard style ever just for literally anything um i took all my audition videos in this style of leotard i took my class audition video in this exact leotard so yeah um so in the back there's like elastics to see how much like you want to want the front to be pinched or not i love this one it like literally fits my body so well it's cap sleeves as well okay so this leotard is one of my own leotards um and it, it's just so weird to like look at it and show you guys because i don't know it's like my work but this was literally last December or November. This was my Christmas or not. This is my winter collection um, And my stitching is just so much different than it is now. That's why it's like so weird to look at um, But I love the material it's super stretchy and this one's really soft You can actually order this as a custom leotard if you wanted I think this is called my Ruth custom and it kind of like goes in a little bit as you can see um, You'll probably see it better like when I try it on but yeah this is a size extra small I wear in my brand as well. Okay, so this one is one of my favorite leotards ever. I think I look so good in this. Every time I wear this leotard, I feel like I always have a good dance day. So um, this one is from Claudia. Um, it's like the Coach Me World wear, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but um, I, I think this is the ambition leotard um so it has mesh on the top and it's just like v-neck it has mesh right here too um and then just plain baby blue and then mesh on the back and it's just like a swoop so okay this one's also one of my favorite leotards as well i just got this one this one is from Eleve. i have to look up what this is called okay so this is the rachel leotard and this is in the color eggs or robin egg robin blue something egg robin i don't know so this is the front it's kind of hard to tell um and then the back is just like a crisscross strap it's like 
This one also just flatters me really well. I literally love the color. This one was a ready-to-wear leotard, so you could probably buy it now. It's very, like, non, like, modest, if that makes sense. Like, it goes down, like, right here. It goes down. It has a really low back, so it, sometimes it feels like you're, like boobs are gonna pop out but um so yeah i got an extra small on this one and then i also ordered i also ordered two of them as a custom leotard and i ordered it in a extra small long and my girth is 56 inches so yeah if you guys ever if you ever want to buy this leotard it does like go down very far so i would definitely recommend getting it in a long if you have a long torso which apparently i do i never knew that but Okay. So this one is really boring. I barely ever wear this one. It's honestly just a Capizio cotton baby blue leotard. But that's all for the blues. And now I don't know what color is next, but let's go. Okay, I don't know why I had so many blue leotards. Um, but the next is my favorite color, which is green. I'm wearing green right now. Um, so this one is kind of blue. It's like a blue green. This is another Rachel leotard, the one I just got. I'm literally obsessed with this color. I think it's like cactus or something. I don't know if I forgot to say, but this is an Elevé leotard. These are from Elevé. Um, and then again, it has this crisscross back. Um, this one, I have no idea what brand this is. It was probably in my last haul. Um, I don't really like wearing this. It's not like my favorite leotard ever. It's old. It's like an emerald green. It has a pinched front. Um, these like bulky straps. Nothing really that special. Um, so this one is another collection by Claudia Leotard. And this is from her Christmas collection. I think it's called like Angel Frosty. Okay, I'm trying to remember names of these, but I have no idea. And everybody, uh, she kept saying that this was like a gray. And I always looked at it as like a sage green. I don't know why. Um, it is definitely like muted, but to me it looks green. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I literally loved, this was so unique. I loved this so much. Um, especially the dotted mesh. It's so cute in the back. It's just so cute. I love it. Um, but I don't wear it. I think I wore it like once or twice. Um, and the thing, the reason is because I ordered the wrong size. So I'm ordered a, an, I ordered an extra small. Um, and that's and usually in all my leotards, I'm an, I'm an extra small. Even in her brand, I'm an extra small. But I've been ordering a small now because of the girth. So literally, like, this part, like, the mesh, it just goes down way too far, like, in this area. And literally, like, it's scary. And I just want to keep it because I love it so much. But, like, I don't want to sell it because I love it. But I also am, like, not going to wear it because I'm literally scared. And I just wish I had a small Okay, and this one is my favorite le I say that about so many leotards, but this is really up there with one of my favorite leotards. Every time I wear this, even on, like, Instagram, people are like, oh my gosh, I love your leotard. Like, it's so cute. It's the Gainer Men in leotard, the cap sleeve one with the pinch in the front. It's beautiful. Looks amazing. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend getting this leotard. And that was all the green, so let's move on to the next color. Okay, so next color is purple. I have a pretty good collection of purple leotards. Not as big as the blue, though. So this one is an Elevé leotard. I don't know what this is called. Um, but it's a high neck, and it looks like this. It's kind of like, if you're familiar with my dancewear, which I don't know if many of you are, but this is like, kind of like similar to the roof custom that I have. And so it like goes into the waist, and then it just has this like, mid back like swoop it's kind of like a mauve color um in pictures like i really loved this leotard so much and i thought it was always so pretty but like every time i wear it i don't know i just don't like feel myself and i'm not like i'm just like eh. um and i think it's because it's a high neck leo and i just like i don't know if the color looks good on me either um so this one is a morella leotard just a camisole, one of those old ones that I just haven't gotten rid of. And it's just cotton as well. Just like a lilac color. Nothing interesting. With, and it has a V back. Okay, so this is another one of my new ones. This is another Rachel leotard. And this is in the color Orchid um, from Elevé. So if you guys ever want to order one, <laughs> this is the color. They did say they had limited stock in this color. 
but it's like a really bright pink purple color yeah so basically the same thing as this at the front and then the back is just crisscross so the next one is really special because it's my first lucky leo i've been following them for so long but nothing like ever really stood out to me <laughs> until this print it's like this really beautiful butterfly lilac print um, and then it just persuaded me to uh, buy one right away. I waited like eight weeks for this. That's like the production time. That's around like the production time of my custom leotards. And like whenever you're working and you have a bunch of orders, like two months does not feel like a long time to wait for an order. But when you're the one buying it, waiting two months for this is like so long. <laughs> they probably would get so many orders. It's cute. The only thing I, um, I'm like meh about is... It's a size small, but again, like the girth is still kind of short, but I knew like a medium probably wouldn't fit me. But it's just one of those things. It's like a, not like as comfortable as I would like it to be, but it's not a big deal. Okay, and the next one is another one of my new Elevate leotards that I bought. And this is the Fabiola leotard. I love this on me so much. It's a v-neck pinch in the front, mesh on the straps and the back so cute i literally love this back has a crisscross with mesh here and i don't know what i don't know what this color is called but it's like a lilac lavender type color i just was feeling like solid color leotards now like the same color just all the way around just to give a really uniform beautiful look so that was all my purple leotards let's go on to the next one Alright, so the next color is pink, and surprisingly, I do not have a lot of pink leotards, and I really don't know why. So, you probably saw this in my last leotard haul, um, but just the Gainer Men and Cat sleeve one um, in, like, this lighter pink, very fuchsia-type color. They sent me both of these. Um, I'm not really sure why they sent me both of the same kind of color, but this one's definitely more, like, darker. Definitely like this one more, I mean, I think. Um, but yeah. Cap sleeve, pinch in the front, cute, mid-back. One of my favorite leotard styles ever, so yeah. I think this one is a Maria leotard. You probably saw this in the last one as well. It's kind of old, not my favorite. I remember when I got it, I was literally like, oh, it's so pretty. But now I'm like, eh, I don't like wear it a lot. I don't love it. It's like this shiny material. I think it's just because it's old. I'm tired of looking at it. It just has like baby pink and then like darker pink at the bottom. It's okay. It doesn't look the best on me. I'm just going to keep it because I do wear it. And then my last pink leotard is this one. And this is the one that I made. This is from my latest spring collection. Um, this was called Strawberries and Cream Leotard. Um, it has this ivory on the top and then baby pink on the bottom. Same in the back. It's just a camisole leotard. And this is called the Sophie Custom 2. If you guys like, like this style, you can order it on my website, noeldancewear.com. Um, and you'll be supporting me. I make all of them. So yes, I do make them myself. I have like my sewing machine. Literally, the, my business takes up my whole room. But yeah. And then the tag, my cute little tag with my logo on it. Super cute. This one's, I love this one. This is probably like, my favorite one that I've made for myself because it's so comfortable. Okay, moving on to white leotards. I don't love white leotards, but I have quite a few of them. So let's go. So this one is an Elevate leotard. I got this one at Footlights, which is a local dance store in the DMV, which I won't be going to very soon because it won't be near me. It's just this cute blue floral print, you guys. Always tell me how much you love this leotard. You can order this as a custom leotard on Elevate, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, that's the back. I don't love this style on me, so it's not like my favorite leotard ever. Um, I don't know. I don't like the neckline, but it's still cute. It's kind of old. Okay, this one is a butterfly print leotard from Classen. When I bought these, I was like super obsessed with prints. Now I'm not as much like obsessed with prints, um, but I think it's like a fun leotard. It has these really cute, vibrant butterflies on it. The straps are kind of too loose, which I could probably fix myself, but instead I just decided to put a safety pin on it. Okay, and this one is the Poppy Leotard from my spring collection. Um, I don't wear this one that much because when I made it, I kind of made it like... Um, this is like the sample one and I kind of made it wrong. Um, <laughs> so it's really big in the waist on me, so it doesn't fit me that well. Um, but again, like this one was just like a sample 
but I just keep it because like I feel bad for giving it away I'm just very harsh on my own like stuff because obviously I make it and if there's any little flaw I'm like oh that annoys me so much but yeah, it's cute. It has velvet in the back and then it goes like wraps around kind of to the front. It has this really cute poppy floral um, trim. So that was really cute. And then I came with like a matching skirt with the poppy floral on it. It was super cute. Um, a lot of you guys loved it. Okay, and then my last one, literally like, ew. It's just like a white camisole leotard i don't even know what brand this is i never wear it the last time i wore this was like two years ago i keep it just in case i need a white leotard i have no idea <laughs> now for the biggest color collection you guys probably guess what color it is it's black of course i don't know okay if you guys know me you know that i'm not a huge fan of black leotards at all um but you always need one you always need to wear it it's just boring it makes me depressed but here we go <laughs> this one really old but it's definitely just like a classic i love this leotard it has weird crisscross things in the back can't really tell it's really old i don't even know what brand it is but you'll see me try it on so this one <laughs> literally surprisingly yes i still wear this i actually got this like maybe last year um at like tj maxx or something like that and I know it looks weird and like little kiddish, which yes it is, um, but it has these cute like diamonds in the front and it's cotton. So it's a really good leotard when you're like on your period, like this is what I wear. Um, it was literally like $7. Um, I think it's cute. I think it makes me look good. So this one is my first wear more leotard. It's just like square camisole leotard in the back. It's like, gosh, how am I going to like show you guys? I don't know. It has a cool thing in the back. I don't love this leotard. It just reminds me of auditioning for Joffrey and doing awful. Like, I don't even want to think about it. This one, it's just a plain Leo. Um, has a pinch in the front. It's basically the only thing that's special about it. It has a high back as well. Um, I got these leotards when I went to Joffrey Summer Intensive in like 2016. Um, it's just a cotton leotard with like a v-neck in the back. I don't love this leotard, but I just kept it just in case I needed it. Well, oh, this is an Ainsley wear. I didn't even know that. Um, so as you can tell, a lot of my black leotards are old because that's what I had to wear like a while ago. Um, but this one has flowers at the top and then it's just black. Kind of have a low, medium back. Oh, this one is one of my own leotards. This is the Delilah Custom 2. Um, because there's two, obviously. <laughs> um, so the Delilah is just like a high neck with a low back, even though this one's old, so I don't know why, like, the back isn't low. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know when I made this. It was like a while ago, like a year maybe. Um, but it just has this cute butterfly print that I have all year long. So if you guys like this print, you can order one on my website at noeldancefor.com. This one is a black. I just got this one actually. Again, the Gainer Minden cap sleeve leotard, my favorite style ever. I got it in black because I think it was on sale. And I was like, I need this leotard in black because it's my favorite leotard. Okay, so this is another Gainer Minden leotard. It has like the lace. You guys probably saw this in my last one. I like this one, but I don't wear it as... Oh, I just hit myself. I don't wear it as much. It's one of those leotards that like, you like at first. And then it's like, as you keep wearing it, it's like, mm. Okay, and this one is just a plain leotard. It has a high neck and three-quarter sleeves with a really low back. I really like this leotard. It looks really nice. It's just really hot. <laughs> I think it's Capizio. I'm not sure. And actually, the stitching on the leg came out, but good thing that I have a cover stitch machine because I literally fixed it. Um, perks to being like a seamstress, okay? And then my last black leotard, it's just... this is I call this one my period leotard. I literally love this leotard though it, i don't know why it makes me look really good even though it's kind of big on me but it's really comfy um the back is like this like twisty thing okay and then now i have my miscellaneous colors um these three are actually really new i just got these in the past like week or two um so this one is another fabiola leotard from elevate i got it in this really like pale 
bright yellow and I'm obsessed with it. Like I literally love it so much. Um, has like the yellow mesh and then the yellow on the trim as well. And the back is just like that crisscross again. Definitely a style that you all need to try if you love LFA. Okay, this is another LFA leotard. This is the Leo leotard, I'm pretty sure. And it's kind of like a square neck. Um, nothing like super like wow, but I got it in brown because brown is really in right now <laughs> um and i have this like brown crop top that like kind of looks like this if you like cropped it um but it's like sweater material and i literally look <sighs> i literally just love how i look in that color and i was like wow i should get a least hard in that because i literally okay i don't know i just love the way it looks with my hair i just think it complements it really well um, so yeah, and it has trim as well, but it's just the same color. It's just like a beautiful chocolate brown I really love brown. Okay, this one is the last leotard and this is another collections by Claudia This is the Aurora leotard in ruby, I think um, And it has just like a sweetheart neckline with a pinched front and then on the back It's like pinched the back as well and it's a low back this one I got it in a size small and I'm really excited and happy that I did that because it's really comfy the girth is like a, the perfect size um yeah so love this one i honestly hate wearing red but this one i was like there is something about this red that's just different from other reds it's like deeper and i was like i'll just give it a shot and i think i really love it i haven't worn it that much obviously I haven't worn it to dance because i haven't danced in so long but <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching my leotard collection it was I don't even want to know how long this video is going to be. Just of me showing you my leotards. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I feel like I'm going to give you guys like a discount code. Let me just make one right quick. Okay, I just made a discount code for you guys. So if you guys are interested in buying any of my leotards, your support, all of the money and the support goes to me. I'm literally the only employee of my brand. Um, so I make them all with my three machines. Um, my fabric is really good quality. My fabric is actually, most of them are made in the USA and then the printed ones are from Etsy shops. So um, yeah, your money's supporting just like local, like small to medium sized businesses. Um, so if you guys want 10% off on any leotards, I just came out with the summer collection. A lot of the sizes are sold out, unfortunately, but if you guys find one that you like, use the code YouTube for 10% off and that can work as custom leotards as well, which will be made in six to eight weeks. So yeah, um, so if you want that, shop at noeldancewear.com. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully. I love you guys so much. Stay confident.